What we do with, at environmental training is that we take a theme and we see how far we can stretch it. That's why we say environmental training is for anyone but not for everyone. Anyone can do it but not everyone will. And we take a theme and we stretch it in a simple fashion. And that's what we are doing with this theme of how to look at your front door. We're not piling you with masses of information. We're encouraging you to go and look at your front door yourself. We are saying that your front door has lots and lots of information. Lots and lots of useful details. Details which you have not seen. And over these sessions, we're covering these themes bit by bit. Going back to this theme of the letterbox. Does your letterbox say letters? Is your letterbox metal? Does your letterbox have a flap which has to be lifted up in order to get the mail through? Or does your letterbox, is the flap inside? These are the questions that you ask yourself about your front door. When people knock, do they use a knocker? A doorbell or do they use your letterbox to attract your attention? Mind you if you're on the top floor of your mansion how on earth will you hear a letterbox from down below? Your letterbox we talked about the orientation whether it was in vertical or horizontal but what about the shape? Is it a rectangle, your letterbox? As we've said, does it have the word letters if it's in English? Also, your letterbox, does it line up with the door knocker? More things have sprung to mind. Because of environmental training, many of these lessons are what we call spontaneous, ideas come as we go along. And it suddenly occurred to me that Certain doors have a spy hole. In our view, those spy holes are quite daft because when you look through them from inside your home, the person seems to be miles away. You would think that if it's a magnifying glass you are looking at, you would expect the image to be magnified and quite close. But the spy hole, how far above from your letterbox is it? That's generally in the middle of the door, middle portion of the door. So once again, go over the things you've looked at with your door. The shape, the number of corners, the letterbox, the number of sides, where the doorbell is. Now, other things you can see about your door, the material. Most doors are wooden, made of wood. And obviously, if there's a window in the glass, in the door, okay, the, the window is glass, if there's a window in the door, then part of the door will be made of glass. Some doors have two panels of glass, some doors only one. Some doors, the glass can be see-through. I know a door in London, which the door is mainly glass. And the only wooden parts are the actual frame and where the handles and the keys. And one has to be very careful when opening this door, because if you open it and let it swing back too far, there's always concern that the glass may break. So note what type of material is your door. Is it wooden? Is it glass? And you know any doors, front doors, which are made of metal. If you do, 
They'll come to mind. Pay attention to front doors.